Hey guys, so today I am carrying out the first lawn scarification and holotine aeration on this garden. <laughs> yeah. So we have this small section and then something much larger at the back. Now without fail, every single year this lawn needs scarifying. It produces a lot of thatch, there's a lot of fescue grass in it and it's in the direct sun. So it grows well, it reproduces well, it produces thatch fast. So it's important to keep on top. So how do we know if a lawn needs scarifying and aerating. Well, aeration improves drainage. It's simply pushing a hole in the ground. So it allows water to drain through a little bit faster. And years ago, our grandparents and forefathers would use garden forks and aerate the ground. Nowadays, you can get holotine aerators and you can get machine versions and you can get manual tools. Now I've already done a video on all the different manual tools, the manual holotine aerators. If you want to check that out, I'll try and remember to link to it here now. But in general, putting a hole in the ground to improve drainage and reduce compaction. Now naturally, we're not going to do this size lawn with a little handheld manual aerator. So we use a machine. Now I've got two machines and I brought the old Klassen holotine aerator out. Sometimes it's nice to bring this one out. Sometimes it's nice to bring the other one out. This one hasn't been used for quite some time. So I just want to get the old girl out and just get her, get her fired up and keep her, keep her going, basically. So there is a drum at the front and that drives. And then we have the hollow tines on the back. That's these. And they push into the ground and soil will then be ejected out of the tine and we end up with a lawn that's been aerated. Now it really doesn't take long with this machine, probably 20 minutes, but then the biggest job is the clearing up. So aeration is definitely worth doing, especially if you've got clay lawns. Now when it comes to scarifying, that's completely different. Um, lawns need to be scarified to reduce the amount of thatch in the lawn which you can feel when you walk on it, becomes really spongy underfoot. And you will also see quite a bit of moss. You see the footprints? They're just sinking in. Even though it's springing back, it's fairly healthy, but we have to do this every year because you get a great big build up of moss. So by scarifying, we're gonna take out some of the thatch and it's the thatch which encourages the moss. So some of the moss will come out, but not all of it will come out. We are thinning thatch. So we're gonna crack on, we're gonna run the aerator over first. Now, there's a bit of length on this grass and I'm not too worried that it's a little bit longer because we're not doing any seeding work or anything like that. So we're gonna aerate, then we're gonna scarify over the top and then we're gonna get it cleared up. Turn it on, choke on. So all we need to do, we lower this handle here, which drops the tines to ground level. And then we pull this one here, which drives it along. What the future might be, I hold my breath, waiting for someone to knock at my door. So we've just carried out the aeration and as you can see it's pulled out cores of soil all the way across the lawn and they're about an inch inch and a half something like that and when you squeeze it this is quite clay so it holds on to moisture and that moisture encourages 
moss and thatch. So what we're going to do now is scarify the lawn. We're going to use this machine, but still 540, is it RL540, RM540. Uh, scarifying is essentially, to make it easy to understand, it's essentially raking the lawn. So you're raking the surface of the lawn to remove a build-up of organic matter that's been sat there and building up over the previous year. Now you'll often see people will say get a rake and rake the lawn and you can see that this spring tine or spring buck rake these are bulldog and they've got a solid piece of metal there so it's nice and firm perfect for smaller lawns you can do a small lawn with this and that's what comes out dead organic matter if you want something a bit more heavy duty you can go for one of these a scarifying rake and it's made by wolf garton you buy the handle and you buy the attachments separate i believe they've got a 10-year warranty it's dead easy you just click the button and you can replace there's lots of different attachments for these but basically this is just a manual version of the machine there's the blades and they tilt backwards and forwards and rake the lawn and all you do is you gently drag it across backwards and forwards like so okay and you can see there the effects of using the wolf garden rake you're scarifying more in the same amount of time and we're starting to get some moss out perfect if you've got smaller lawns and you don't want to spend too much money you can upgrade to a petrol or electric scarifier they've got them in screw fix and aldi for about 70 pounds and they're all right they're all right they've got them on amazon as well so this machine just an engine and it's made by still and in there we've got the blades and they rotate round and we can adjust the blades which are just inside there higher or lower using this little turning knob on the side one to six one is the highest six is the lowest and you just push it and off you go so I'm going to crack on I'm going to get this scarified now and we'll get it cleared up and see what it looks like at the end Okay, that is done. It would be cool if we just packed up and went, but no, this has all got to be raked up, blown into piles and bagged up and gotten rid of. So that's what we're going to do next, but you can just see really how much has come out, can't you? It's just incredible. All that. And to be fair, we could probably go over it another two or three times and get more and more out each time. But the more you take out, the barer it becomes and the more you get to the point where you need to seed. So it is just a bit of a balancing act when you are scarifying. Ideally, you do it little and often, every couple of months, just taking a little bit out 
once you've got top side. So we'll get this cleared up now and uh, we'll take a look. How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. What will it take? Why the way? Up and down, I'm losing ground. Pretend to tell me what to believe. I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying. Spin to show me how to succeed. My wallet is spreading thin. Oh, ooh, 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 what to do? To say, please make the strain go away, pretender. Okay, right. That is it. Now, there is still thatch and there is still moss in this lawn, but we have thinned it, which has improved it. And we've aerated, so things will drain better now. We could quite easily go again on a, an angle and scarify again and probably get about the same amount out but then you're running to the point where you may need to overseed. Up and down I'm moving around Okay, we are done. It is neat and tidy, and that is the best that we can do. That last mow filled up, it filled up another bag. So that is still a little bit of thatch, what's just been sat there, so it's always worth getting it up. So overall, happy with the results. It does look a little bit rough, but that is the case every time you scarify. The main thing is that recovery will take around four to six weeks, typically. Now that is with normal growing conditions, nice bit of sun, the odd bit of rain, four to six weeks. If it goes really cold, it could take eight weeks, okay? But keep giving it a bit of water and it will soon come back. Don't cut it too short. But the benefits far outweigh the, the negatives of a temporary stressing out of the lawn. Any questions, comments, pop them down below. A thumbs up would be amazing and you can always subscribe should you want to uh, for more useful tips like this. But basically, this is something you do on your lawn on a regular basis, or you should be doing, just to thin out the, the spongy layer. And if you don't, that spongy layer increases, which weakens the grass, especially if you're mowing it short as well. And that weaker grass leads to a grass that struggles more in heat. Um, it means moss will creep in. Basically other things can get in that lawn and take over because the grass isn't as strong. It's more susceptible to, to grubs and things like that. I feel better every day. The troubles I had have been washed away. I'm cleaning up my act and Nothing to distract me in my dreams Like a pillow on my face No one can hurt or invade my space I still walk the streets with my head high And though I wonder where I'd be If no one had helped to remember me Yeah, that's what I'd show you in here yeah. This is all the green waste just come out that one job and look at the chickens the chickens though <laughs> yeah 
I'm not going too close, I think they're probably quite hard. But they're always here. You get chickens, uh, cats, and they just love it. They love when people bring all this waste. Because they just like seeing what they can get. But yeah, they uh, they get the waste and they turn it into compost. Some big piles over there, normally these two barns are full. And then they make up chickens over there, uh, sawdust, wood chips, yeah. The busy old outfit. <laughs> but yeah, got machine over there. Mix wood chippings. It's a big organisation, and um, the owners of this place actually asked me to go and look at their lawn at their property last year. They never went ahead, but it was a gigantic place in the middle of the countryside. I mean gigantic and the grounds were just unbelievably large so I gave them the price but um, yeah obviously it all comes down to money and that's how they tend to stay wealthy because they're very careful at managing the money and the, and the whether it's of benefit to them right guys hope you've enjoyed this little uh, this little event today I try not to come up here too often it's it's good to let them all pile up at home for over a few visits and then come up on a rainy day and fill your van to the hilt because it's the same price but in the same breath I don't like having them laying around at home it's really messy oh <sighs> right it's Friday I'm done I'm going home I'm gonna cleaned up put my feet up and get some video editing done so have a wonderful time and thanks for watching catch you on the next one